Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so right now I am with my husband and our guide. We're in Tarangire. We're with this company called Off the Beaten Path Safaris. It's so amazing. We're actually now in this like, it's like an off-roader or something. And we're driving around. We've seen, I think, impalas and gazelles. We are going to watch elephants. Yeah, and now we're going to see elephants. There's some amazing baobab trees here. They look like they're from a Disney movie. You would not even believe. I'll show you more in my next video. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Oh my god. So in impala, right? Yes. Oh my goodness. Wakike o kiume. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, so right here are some elephants. And they're so beautiful. My husband keeps talking, but they're amazing. Look at them. Oh, you see an elephant? Oh. No, stop. We've just left the balcony. Let me just close it here. Just give it a little close. And then this is like the the main kind of sitting room. So that's obviously the doorway. My nails fell off when I was on safari, so ignore that. Um, I didn't bring more press on nails with me. Now I've learned my lesson. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is like, so imagine you walk in here. So you walk in the suite like this, and then there are these gorgeous, gorgeous, like rustic looking kind of seats here. This is so luxurious. Guys, look at these lights. How lit are they? They're so amazing. I know, uh, yeah, I know their lights and they're lit anyway, but just look at the detailing. It's absolutely stunning. I love these pillows. If I could describe this place, I would say it's like rustic luxury African log cabin chic. This is what a log cabin would look like if it was made from a purely African point of view. So this is like the bed and stuff. And yeah, I'm so impressed with this place. Look at this retro fan. This fan is everything. It's so retro. And it's called Taurus, which is my star sign. And then here's like this light fixture here. I just want to show you all the details of this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. I would recommend coming here if you like, like, like luxury chic. If that's your thing, this is absolutely the place for you. 
Oh my god, you guys, look at this. This is one of the furnishings that's um in the in the suite. And guys, look at that. Look how like look how it moves. And look at those beads. All of these are intricate little white beads. If you look really carefully, I'm not sure you can see that. Excuse my press on nails. But if you look really carefully here, they're all kind of attached and then separated by some thread. You can tell that this took forever to make and it is a high quality piece. I'm guessing as well that this is probably made by the local area. Look how intricate all of this is. Whenever people ask me about African luxury and whether it exists, yeah, it does. And there are a lot of stunning, luxurious pieces. I, I don't even know how much a piece like this would cost. I'm guessing it would cost upwards of 100000 Tanzanian shillings, which is about $45 or so. And I feel like that's even without haggling. And I feel like I would even feel bad to haggle just because this is so stunning and gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. This is one of the most intricate beaded pieces I've ever seen. So I just saw it here. And for some context, it was actually when I was just showing you guys the sitting room, it was actually just there in the corner. And I was like, oh, let me have a look at that. And I just came here and saw it and just thought, whoa, I have to show you how stunning is this? And then they, you can actually like roll up, as you can see, it's completely open. There isn't a window. It's like netted for the mosquitoes. And then you can actually roll up the, um, these covers basically when you go to bed, because it, it does actually get really cold. That's another cabin you can see through the nets and then that's the hill. And that's where we're going up on guys it's me again it's the second day basically now so i've woken up um and now we're about to go have breakfast i am not wearing any makeup i'm sorry so just excuse how i look right now but we're about to go yeah like i said have breakfast then we're leaving this um lodge which is called the lamala mpingo um reserve i believe that's the name of the place and yeah now we're about to go somewhere else so this lodge is actually within the Tarangiri National Park um, I absolutely recommend you come here if you're looking for something that's a bit different that's like off the beaten track it's not something like that every person goes to normally people go to the Serengeti all the time the Tarangiri is probably a bit more rustic it's a bit more raw and it's not as touristy as um the Serengeti or the other national parks and reserves absolutely recommend this hotel it's so amazing i just wanted to let you guys know um this video is so different from my channel but i really hope that you like it um i won't be don't worry this isn't turning into a travel <laughs> vlogging channel um but i just wanted to share something different and from my country i know many of you who watch my videos i was looking at my stats the other day a lot of you are from the united states you're from the united kingdom can and canada and russia and i do have um, a lot of tanzanian viewers and kenyan viewers so i just think it could be cool to show you guys something from my country i've never been to tarangiri before so i was really excited to be here um nothing in this video is sponsored trust me this is all my natural opinion and yeah i'm just really excited to show you so now we're heading off to day two and i'll make sure to keep you up to date with what i'm getting up to make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it really helps to support me thanks Hey guys, okay, so we're on day two. We're in Lake Manyara National Park. Like I told you, my husband and I are with Off the Beaten Path Safaris and we're having such a good time. So many people here could come alone, but we're really glad that we came with a guided tour. What do you think? This is an amazing experience. Okay, that's what he thinks. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to my channel. This vlog is gonna continue. We have so much more Click to show you. Click this button. <laughs> we have so much more to show you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you in a bit.
Oh my god, you guys, look at all of these baboons. Um, Salim, our guide, was just saying that all of these baboons are actually called a troop of baboons. That's actually the name for a whole group of them. Look at these magnificent animals. There are stacks of them. You can see that there's some baby baboons. There are some female and males. They're amazing. I've never seen this many. This is the most we've ever seen at one go. Okay, you guys, so apparently this is like a conclave, like a meeting with all of these, this troop of baboons. So they're like different families within this whole group here. So maybe they're having a meeting, they could be discussing something, they could be communicating in whichever way that they communicate, obviously with their voices and vocal cords. There's so many of them here, they're some baby baboons, as I said but there's something going on here that's why there's so many of them I'm not sure if you can see the impalas here in the shot maybe if i zoom a little bit you can but there's some impalas in the background and salim was just saying that they are kind of having like a symbiotic relationship with the baboons and the baboons are kind of like a protective cover for them so that if they see a predator like a, a lion the baboons will obviously make noise alert them and then they can run away so i'm just gonna zoom out there and yeah this is just amazing to see so many of them here it's amazing that's another tour company um i'm just amazed at how many there are here and yeah so tell me what you think about these baboons guys i'm not sure how well you can see this but there's a like a baboon child cleaning his or her's mom it's so amazing it's kind of like what birds do to each other when they preen each other's wings that's kind of what he's doing to his mom but he's like cleaning her picking off like dirt if you can see he's like pulling up the fur if you can see when i've zoomed it up and taking off any bacteria or dirt on her this is just so amazing to see this in real life you always hear about this stuff on National Geographic. It's completely different when you see it yourself in real life. You guys need to come here. Like I said, this is Lake Manyara National Park. And I already told you we came with off the beaten path safaris. You must come here. This is crazy. This is like something from Nat Geo, like on the History Channel. It's amazing. So he's like cleaning her, getting her clean. There's some other ones that are doing the same thing. I will have more later. Thanks. So a few of them just scattered, maybe they saw something or got freaked out, but a few of them have scattered now. And they're all kind of starting to scatter, starting to move. It's all very fascinating. I think this guy here in the middle with his tail curved, I think he's male, and now his tail is straightening out. Um, and he's having his tail rubbed. I don't know if anyone can see this or cleaned or whatever. Um, this is amazing. Again, National Geographic level of cool stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys like this and tell me what you think. Hey guys, okay, so this is the crater view of Ngorongoro, the entire conservation area. This is actually the view of the crater itself. I cannot put into words what this looks like. It's a little bit foggy because it is the morning and it is absolutely breathtaking. So you can see here how it looks. It's quite something. It's absolutely majestic and yeah absolutely beautiful so this is the view of the crater guys look at this look at this can you imagine like imagine like your phone falling off here i'm shooting this with my phone by the way imagine your phone for falling down here you'd never find it again oh my goodness <laughs> it's absolutely breathtaking here it's quite breathtaking if any of you are really into like ecotourism ecology nature ngorongoro is right up your alley i swear i'm not being biased because i'm tanzanian but it's stunning darling welcome to our channel <laughs> <laughs> stop forget what he just said there okay so what do you think about the ngorongoro crater view this is amazing tanzania it's a land of everything okay so when we talk about conversation when we talk about uh, uh, plateau, 
crater, so this is the original crater based on the movement of mountains. Yeah. So you have to come in here <laughs> to see the reality. It's untold story. Untold stories. Love it. Okay. Okay guys, so obviously you heard what my husband had to say about the crater. I'm sorry about my hair, but obviously we're on safari. Um, I need to like redo it again because it's looking quite ridiculous. So yeah, here we are. There you can see it's so stunning, so gorgeous. It's quite breathtaking to be honest. I'm not sure if my camera is give, giving it justice because it's quite um, bright and it's foggy at the same time. So I have to squint a bit. Maybe if I had my shades it would be a bit easier. But yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking. So yeah, this is, I would suggest that you definitely come here and check it out. We have way more to see. There are tons of animals to see. Um, a few more animals that we haven't seen. So yeah. There you are. Oh, we will tap on the lala we will enjoy it so much. Hey guys, okay, so we're just here at the Grand Melia in Arusha. Um, what do you think of it so far? Melia is nice. Yeah. yeah they invested yeah. so much in it. It's clean. Exactly. It's like brand new, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's brand new. So yeah, we're just heading to dinner now. I'll show you guys what it looks like and everything for anyone who's interested, who's going to be in Arusha. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to sub to my channel. Hey, guys. Okay, so we're here at the rooftop bar. Um, so we're just here in the outdoor seating area. I don't know if you can see it. It's like this. It looks pretty glamorous and glitzy. Oh gosh, it looks good, good there. So yeah, we're just having a seat here. This is our table. This is my darling husband. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think of this? How it looks? I think it looks really good. I have to say I'm quite shocked. Mm -hmm. Darling, are you shocked? Yes, really. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really, really nice. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't done my makeup, but it's been crazy. We've been on safari for like three days. We've been so many places. So I'm going to answer your questions in the comments. Don't forget to ask me any questions about any of the places we've been to. Um, Edwin, so far, what do you think of where we went? We were at La Mala yeah, in Taranguira. In Taranguira was the best. Yeah, and then we were at the retreat on Gorongoro and now Grand Melia. Yeah, yeah. So La Mala was too. Yeah, La Mala was amazing. If you guys are watching the earlier parts of my vlog, you will have seen the La Mala content. Um, La Mala is amazing, amazing. But actually, I think Grand Melia, because Edwin, darling, didn't we say it on Melia in Zanzibar? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we stayed there before in Zanzibar. And it's amazing. The one in Zanzibar is amazing. I have to say, I'm very impressed with this. I just wish they'd open one in Dar. If anyone's familiar with the Melia suite of hotels, let me know what you think of the Melias. I would say the Melias are like some of our favorite hotels, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's up there, definitely. So yeah. Okay guys, well look, I really hope you enjoy this vlog and we'll talk in a bit.